I absolutely took the advice you gave me in my last video. I went around the world and I collected the four of these Chronicle Fragments and uh, they're 50k experience each. It's uh, after you complete the Fate of the Gods quest, you can go to four different places with a measuring stick and you get um, 50,000 experience for each one of them. So it's 200k free experience and I should be 1,000 experience of 79. So I also have 22,000 Elder Energies. I'm just going to make one of these as well. And let's just get 80... Uh, Divination, that's what it's called. All right, so we have 84 points So let's just leave the cash real quick and we should actually hit 80 divination. I have 27,000 36 K There we go 80 divination. It's been actually a long time that uh, level 79 took a very long time of just doing this really I've been using elder energies on the fourth option and it did take quite some hours to do it. But now we have it done and now all I need is actually 80 smithing. You can see that on the requirements right there. Now this is going to be 80 smithing and I did it by using adamant ores as well as coal that I got from God Wars 2 mostly. And the Adi ores is, uh, I think it's mostly from Slayer actually. But there we go and I'm cooking for some reason apparently. But um, yeah there we go, I unlocked everything, now I can do invention. And I don't really know what I have to uh, disassemble for components and all the kind of stuff. But at least I can start it now, so let's get into that. Now after completing the tutorial you end up on 5 invention, I also hit over 2200 total, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, I think one of the ways I'm going to get like the jewelry thingy, the material for it, is actually make like rings, uh, ruby rings and diamond rings and stuff like that. I know you can do it with the slayer rings, but that's like way too much work and it's a daily, you have to do that as well and it seems like a lot of work. So ultimately I want to get to the point where I can just siphon everything, because making the augmenters over and over again is probably not that great for an iron man so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to start off by trying to make one augmenter and i don't really know that much about invention i think i said that in my last video but i'm going to try to manage i, I can probably manage somehow have so many gold doors as well that i can make into bars and i can make even more rings out of them and I, it's a good thing i have so many of these diamonds and rubies collected so i'm going to start making these ruby rings and diamond rings and i'm going to disassemble them for some awesome materials and i have a lot of energies as well in the bank i have um well, not that many, but I have like 8, 8k of these lustrous energies, 5k of these, and then I have 18k of the elder ones. So that should also be enough to make at least a few augmenters. I really don't think I need all these lobsters as well, so I'm just going to disassemble them. Now, as I said, I don't really know much about invention, but I'm just going to disassemble pretty much everything that I do not need. And that is like all these rings, a thousand rings overall, even more than that. And then the duplicates that I have that you guys have been saying is awesome components from the start. I want to keep these though because I can just augment them and just remove them and get like shit tons of experience from that. Uh, but all the things you cannot augment, I just took out i'm going to disassemble them so if you want to have a quick look you can do that these are you and magic shield bows you by the way and then i took out some super anti-fires as well because look i have 600 left i'm never going to use that many so yeah let's get into some disassembling and see where i where i end up i guess so after disassembling everything, I actually didn't disassemble my lobsters, These poor creatures, they don't give anything good at all. So I'll just chuck them into the bank, give them to the banker, I don't know where the hell he stores it, maybe he sells them on the black market. Actually, if you burn them, well then you sell them on the black market, y whatever, you get the point. Anyways, uh, I have a lot of these supplies now, look at this, 1.3k, 1.3k, 89, which is actually quite a lot, because it only takes 8 to make one of them, so I can make 11. And then the ones I miss is the powerful components, and they are given from uh, summoning pouches, scrolls and runes, I guess mostly for Iron Man, or it's most beneficial from those methods. And then the base parts I can get from bolts, weapons with hilts and shields. So I took out 10,000 royal bolts, might be enough to get what I need. And for the powerful components, I'm hoping that runes from barrels. And by the way, I took out 20,000 chaos runes. I still have 10,000 in the bank. And for death runes, I still have 10,000 in the bank as well. So let's see if I can disassemble all of these and get what I need. So with all of that done, we can now make 5 augmenters. I have 247 base parts and powerful, I got 58. So I didn't get that many, but still a good amount. So I'm probably going to get the powerful components in the future through summoning pouches. 
probably when I get to pack jacks because I've heard they're really really good for it so anyways let's just make these five augmenters and uh, this is going to be some good invention experience in itself I think 500 each I guess it's decent it's not that good but it's decent and I will be using this on I think my chaotic stuff actually no I cannot do that I need something in the start that I can disassemble completely because I can't siphon yet so I guess this is actually going to have to go on my Staff of Light, so let's do that. Actually, I'll, I'll do th all three of them, actually, so... Uh, this is how you do that, okay, and it's now augmented. Sweet, I'm going to do that for all the three, and I'm going to be using these for Slayer, and I think I currently do have... Yeah, let's do some Slayer. Let's do it. Let's get some invention experience. As we're going to be doing some Slayer, I will obviously get some clues draws from it as well, which is absolutely amazing because I need all those pages for the book. So anyways, this is the first hard clue. Let's see what we get. And we get a pirate's hat. Unfortunately, I already have two of them, but the next one we can reroll, so that's going to be fun. Currently, I can only level my weapons to level 5, but I just got my Staff of Light to level 5. And by the way, I do know that I should have augmented my Sun Spears instead. Now that I've already augmented some Staff of Light, I'm just going to use them anyways. But in the future, I'll use my Sun Spear. But anyways, uh, I'm going to now disassemble this for some awesome invention experience. And let's do that. And from 18 to 25, 100,000 experience. And... I think that should be all I need for 10, so I can level them all the way to level 10. Maybe it's actually not. I don't know. I'm going to go to the table and see, but for now I'm going to just turn this into magic and keep on doing Slayer. I leveled up my Sun Spear to level 5, disassemble that, and I got 29 invention. I did need only 27 to be able to get this augment item maximum level 10, so I'm going to be doing that now. And after that, I'm not really going to be focusing on invention. This is actually the only thing I wanted to reach in this video, because from now on, I'm just going to be using the augmented items or put the augmentor on like my Sun Spear, and from that point, I'm just going to be doing Araxor, I'm going to be doing Slayer, I'm going to be doing whatever PVMing, and then I'll I'll just disassemble them and buy new ones for like 600k or whatever it is and that's where my money is going to go for you know two for a while as well as summoning in just a bit so we're, we're doing pretty good we got a good head start on the invention just as I intended and there we go I should now be able to make them to level 10 so there you go that's it 2.6k invention experience as well if I can speak Please, 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 if you're ever going to do a Raxor or like Telos or any kind of high level bossing, please stay on your home world. I tried playing on another world, which is a UK world. It's not good. I had to use so much supplies because I was lagging. My home world is 119 because I'm from Sweden. But yeah, it was pretty bad on a uh, foreign world. But anyways, let's see what the first loot is. And we get some ores. All right, bang that. And let's do... Three more kills or two more, I, I don't know. Oh, and by the way, it's actually my favorite paths. Currently, it is path two and three, so let's get that cash. Let's get that money. Currently, I have 62 or exit kills. Let's see what I can get for this one. This is insane. I've, I've got so many magic suits. I probably have, like, I think I have about 90 in the bank. You know that moment when you die on a boss when you're, like, really close to killing it, and then you just lose all motivation to do it again? That's what just happened to me. I just died from one of those poison spiders. I couldn't even see the animation of the cocoon landing on the ground. Really kind of pissed me off. So I'm just going to do three kills for now. And I'll do more tomorrow anyways. And for you guys, that's going to be instant. For you, it's been like one second. For me, it's been 12 hours. So let's see what we can get for this one. And we get some runes. Rock tails. I think I have like 50 rock tails in the bank. So that's actually pretty good because I'm running really short on K-fish. I'm definitely going to be doing four kills on this one, so let's see what we get for the second one. And we get Hydrix Ball Tips. I actually have a bunch of these in the bank now, so we're just stacking up on them. And when I do get to the level where I can actually make, like, put them on Ascension Bolts, they're pretty good Alk money, so I'm not, I'm not too salty. My familiar is going to die now, so I need to use another one for the fourth kill, but I don't know, it's a fine. It's so easy to get the Tortoise Pouches anyways. Let's see what the third loot is going to be. The worst possible loot. Actually... Blue Charm's not too bad, I I'm not salty. Alright, that is going to be the last kill, and I've actually done like 65 kills, and the drop rate of a leg piece is 1 in 40, so I actually do feel like I should get one soon, so let's get one. Or not, Black Dragon Hides. Alright, no leg piece for this time, but maybe soon. 
Back to some clues in Slayer, and as I recall, we should be able to reroll this one, so let's see what we get. We get a lot of stuff, but nothing really that useful, so let's just reroll it. Uh, yep, don't really need that. Confirm, and we get th three Mystic Staves. Three! I currently have a Black Demon task of 210. I started off with like 260, but I just hit level 10 on my Sun Spear, and there's going to be a huge experience drop, 523,000 experience. And that's for like 600k cash, because that's how much it costs to actually make it, or well, reclaim it. So, um, it's pretty much 1 GP per XP, so it's going to cost me like 38 million if I'm going to be doing it through Sun Spears, which... Granted, probably isn't worth it. Also, I will augment, like, the duplicate gown I have. I will also, you know, maybe with some Ganodermic stuff, I will also augment that and disassemble that completely. And then, obviously, I will siphon some stuff if I get, like, tier 90 weapons, I will siphon that. Anyways, for now, I think this is a good method of doing it. So I'm do just going to disassemble it for shit tons of experience. We got from 29 all the way to 39. It's got 10 levels for that. Pretty good, so, by the way, if you don't know how to reclaim a Sun Spear, you go here, probably know what this place is, it's a Priest in Peril questline thingy, you reclaim, and then Sun Spear, the reformed spear, and then you just tick yes, and there you go, 600k, and you have a new one that you can augment. It's been a long time since I did any summoning, and it's been because I haven't really had any money, but I'm actually going to alk all of the things I have in my inventory now, which is a bunch of random stuff, as well as an onyx, because I already have two onyxes left in the bank as well, for my amulet of souls and my death touch bracelet, and, you know, just doing a raptor is going to give me even more, so I can just alk one of those, I'm going to use all this money on summoning, and let's see how far we can get. I currently have 83 summoning, and the charms I have is 2k blue and 4k crimson, so I'm not really going to get into the green one. I actually had to ask another onyx not to like really really screw myself over cash wise when I did summoning But anyways, I did end up on 88 and I think I'm like halfway to 89 So we actually did pretty good and I still have 800 blue charms and 1.6 K crimsons And I always like turn my pouches into shards again so I keep that getting them back I think it's the best way of doing it or I make them into scrolls and then I just turn them in for shards again Anyways, 88 summoning not too bad Let's do actually like 3 or 4 Araxor kills and wrap the video up with that. Oh god, please do not be magic seeds, I beg you. Ah, oh, that's not magic seeds, pretty good. Oh, and by the way, I realized something that's extremely stupid of me. I keep saying, oh look, I got runes when I actually get ores. It's the, like the third or second time that happens. I don't know why. And actually the last time when I did get ores, I even thought in my head like, oh, don't say runes, don't say runes. And I said runes! I don't know, man. Let's see what we get for this one. All right, some lanterns, nothing too good. I actually died at the last phase on Araxor when it was 51,000 health. At 50k health, he stops doing abilities. I didn't expect it to happen, but at 51,000 health, it did one ability which was pull me in, swipe my ass, and I died. Yeah, I lost all motivation at that point, so I'm actually not going to do the last kill, but I thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it, and by the way, I'm going to leave something rather important in the description of this video on top of the description. I was going to talk about it actually, but I just decided to write everything down so everything comes out clear instead of just rambling on and I might say something stupid. So I'm just going to write it down there, and it's actually rather important. I'm going to be removing one of my videos on the channel. Anyways, I thank you all for watching, and see you in the next one, guys. Take care.